What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Third Person. I am one of your hosts. My name is Chris. With me, as always, is my man, Mike. What's going on? And my other man, Jesse. How you doing? Guys, we're going to be reviewing Westworld Season 1, Episode 3, entitled The Stray. And what an episode this was. I think it's safe to say that we're all really... Slow build up. Yeah, we're really enjoying... Uh, what's going on in this show guys episode three um and it occurred to us i don't think we're doing recaps for these shows so i'm gonna very quickly give you a recap of what happened in episode three the stray we have elsie and Stubbs. they search for a missing host uh teddy gets a new uh partner and a new backstory uh bernard yes. investigates the origins of the madness and hallucinations that's going on with all these hosts and our newest host uh, that we're following, William, he seems to find the new attraction. And additionally, we also get to see uh, Dr. Robert Ford. Uh, we get to see his office and um, a little bit of his, more of his personality in there. So, so that's basically what goes on. Um, we're going to get into a little more details. Uh, uh, um, who wants to start? You guys, you guys want to start somewhere? I don't have anything real in depth. So, I mean, I don't really have anything too too in depth myself. I only wrote a couple things. Uh down i thought were definitely interesting uh, from even from last week um that those keywords are like those reveries those memories that they're really stunning yeah. to remember things that's basically the concept so far in these last couple episodes but basically i wrote um how i thought it was the the bullet that we, we kind of got that bullet with um william getting hit and him saying oh i thought i must supposed to get injured and blah 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 oh we got and, to see uh, that it's an actual we saw that there was like a bruise a physical bruise so they and, it like a little bit of skin was pushed to the side too there's, yeah there's like a, a, like a, a little mark to it, you know right? yeah. yeah um and um that dolores um may may look jesse actually said and i wrote it down that that he that she's going to be looking for ed harris that we eventually think that because she keeps getting that flashback well, let's, talk about, actually said let's, that. let's 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 talk about um dolores and real quick let's let's yeah. so we find out in this episode that she's um through talking to bernard and everything we find out that she's she bernard at the end of the episode is letting her go off and be semi-conscious and that was one of the things you know semi self i'll say semi self-conscious she doesn't know who she is or what she is but she knows that she wants more so she's so i'm i'm, I'm labeling it as a semi self-conscious type of thing yeah. Uh, having said that, you know, we're watching her, uh, especially towards the end, once once he basically gives her permission to continue along this thought this process. Thought, this this patterns, consciousness. Yeah. Right, as long as she stays in her loop, he's allowing her to stay in this in this 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 stream of consciousness. And yeah. then, like you said, Mike, now she's starting to not only remember, you know, what's she's happened. Beat, she, she's beating the commands. Yeah, she's oh, it's over. Everything's overriding. We see at yeah. one point. We see at one point. Teddy tries to teach her how to shoot a gun, and she just can't and because she, she doesn't have do the it. commands to and pull end. the trigger. Yeah. And then at the end, what happens at the end? She breaks that code, like you said, Mike, to to preserve her own life. And and if you remember, this is what I said in the last one of our last episodes: is that that's what's going to happen. These hosts are going to want to preserve their own life to not die. Even if they remember dying many times and whatever, they're gonna want to preserve yeah. their life. And 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 it's so cool that that's this is the beginning. Now we're seeing that they're gonna that they want to preserve their own life. So she does. She kills Trevor. We call him Trevor, but it's Stephen Ogg, the character. I don't even yeah, know what yeah. his character's name is in the show, but it says uh, his name, but I forget Rupert it. Or like, something? No, it's something really dumb. Um, uh, I'll look it up. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But we see that she's that 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 she defends herself, kills him. But like you said, Mike, again, she sees Ed Harris, so it's like... Well, yeah, the, yeah you actually just sparked something in this. Now, we were just talking about... Well, we didn't get into it just yet, but obviously after she kills um, the... Uh, the um, What's his name? We don't know his name yet. Jesse will look Rebus. it up. But... Rebus. Rebus. All right, so once she kills him, she goes to the, to the house and she gets shot. Now, um, I'm thinking... Since she overrode her her command of not being able to squeeze the trigger, she was probably supposed to fall because that's a, a particular spot of the body where you get wounded, where you're supposed to die. Maybe she was able to stop herself from dying and it gave her enough time to ride off. Well, we don't. Yeah, I mean, look, look. She got shot right? in the abdomen, it's, and blood started coming and then out. She, and then it she pans like, up, like, pans back down, and she pulls her hands away, and there's no blood. So we we don't know we don't know she, I don't know yeah, I don't even like have a theory for that. She almost did heal herself. 
unless she healed, like maybe that. she did heal herself. Maybe, maybe yeah. there's like some. She was probably supposed to fall or something. She was probably. It's probably in their programming that depending on where you're hit, depending on if it's lethal or not. She so, de- she yeah, so she could have. She could have stopped it. You know, she obviously did stop it. You know, to a point until some, she collapsed. I, yeah, I don't. I really. Arm, I don't know, Jesse. Yeah, have any thoughts on that? Because I. <laughs> right. I that just, think that it's actually a lot simpler than that. Okay. I think she thinks she got shot, like the previous times when she gets shot, and that she oh. realizes, and then she Ooh, sees hurting. that he missed. But there was blood, though. Again, so maybe she's she wigging thought. out, man. Oh yeah, she thought she's wigging. She saw maybe. her old father's face on her new father. But then, why would she still collapse in William's arms? So it has to be an no, injury. because now I feel like if that's the case, that just seems like she's she she's programmed to. If you are running away and your adrenaline finally wears off, you're going to be fucking tired. Yeah. So she's probably, don't forget, they're programmed to do human things and have human emotion. She would definitely be like, oh, I'm so fucking tired. Oh, I'm going to faint type of uh, thing. But maybe, maybe. I mean, I, it think, just, but it, I yeah. think you're onto something there, Jess. I think you're right. I think maybe, maybe. She, maybe he did miss. I don't think he I missed. I believe it was a human. I believe it was a human. I don't, I don't think it was a... That was a host? You think, I think that was a host, too, yeah. That was... That was no. That, that I mean, not a host, the, uh, a player. That was a, a visitor. Human. Yeah, a player. Yeah, I call them players. So. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I don't know, dude. I don't think he missed. I think, I think he did. I think it's I think it's more the gun thing. We go thing. back and look, but anyway... Either he missed, and she thinks she did or and she thinks she got shot, or, she or he hit her, shot. and she no. thinks she didn't get shot. Maybe... I don't, I don't know. know. She didn't have I blood on her we'll when see. she showed up at the campfire with William and the other guys. It was so. dark. It was dark. No, they had a campfire. No, you could see where, yeah, like, on her dress where she got shot. It wasn't that dark, dark, man. She kind of was already like that. Mikey, there took. was a fire, dude. It wasn't dark. There was a it was dark. dark when, she came, when we saw her full frontal, she was walking off the, from the oh, horse, and it was dark. Uh, no. You didn't see I looked. Clear I, of clue. course you did. I, I absolutely looked, and I did see there was no blood there. I'm telling Go back and no, watch it. There's no blood. I don't think it's too. Yeah. I don't think it's too. That's your uh, homework. Go back and watch that scene. Anyway, yeah. uh, let's move on from Dolores. Um, so, yeah, so definitely some wacky shit going on there and her whole semi self conscious thing. Um, mm. uh, let's talk about Bernard because. Um, so we find out, we get a little bit of his backstory. He had a son named Charlie who passed away. We don't know how, but he. But we, we now get to see that they um he's been talking to Dolores, but like he's been trying to see if he can maybe I think he wants to maybe Yeah, geez. he wants to see if there's a way that he can emulate like bring his son back. He wants to bring his son back. Let's just put it that way. We see we see him have on a video call with his wife and how he's still in pain and it's the only thing he has and you know, of his left of his son is the pain and, and everything and so so yeah, I mean, I think that's obvi- that's obvious. It's obvious that that's on his mind. He's giving her his son's book and reading like probably the same passages and seeing if she if she can remember it and and make it part of herself and maybe then he can bring it. You know, so yeah, yeah. I I think I think I think that's what's happening there. Real cool. Yeah. He's a manipulative little jerk, is what I'm getting from it. Yeah, he's playing. He's I like playing. Him though. Uh, I like Bernard though. He's a, he's a complex like dude. He's complex. He's, u- he's he's using his emotion, and he's not necessarily using his best judgment. Maybe by doing of course, that with yeah, her, of course. Yeah. Because obviously that's what Ford says to him. Listen, you got to remember, they're um, they have no conscience, and that they are, you know, robots. So he's trying to yeah. not have. Uh, Bernard fall into the same path that his former partner, well, Arnold. Arnold, let's get into that real quick because it actually ties into this thing with Bernard. Yeah. So we, we get the backstory of okay, so this was really cool. The the when um, Elsie is showing uh, Bernard the footage of the one dude that went crazy in the previous episode, yeah. where previous was partner, right? So where he was talking about, he was talking to Arnold and, and he, and not only him, a bunch of other ones, right? I mean, we're not going to get into the details, couple, but they said a couple of them said yeah. the same name. There's a bunch of them. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, there. So, so he goes to talk to Ford and Bernard and he says, you know, who's Arnold. And he's like, Arnold was my partner. Arnold was obsessed with making these things conscious. And, and, you know, and he knows Bernard, he knows Bernard's doing it. You know, he knows Bernard's going yeah, behind sure, his back. Yeah, he knows course. everything. He Listen, yeah. Ford knows everything. And he says it in the trailer for the next episode anyway. So, you know, he's like, we know what all our employees are doing. 
so he so he goes in there and um it's just uh yeah so we find out uh arnold died by an accident they labeled an accident in the park but there's more to that story we have, we're gonna obviously we're gonna probably get that later but so Bernard is like, oh, shit, this guy was trying to do what I think what I'm going to try and do. So I think Bernard yeah. is going to try and push, p- push it, like get that information as to like, well, what was his work about? So this guy Arnold, like, seriously, like you just like my thing was, why would you even want to make these things conscious? But maybe he's got a story, too. He said there was a lot of his life was filled with tragedy, uh, Ford yeah. said about his partner Arnold. So could have been the same situation, you know? Um, yeah. But Jesse, you said um, I know you had a whole bunch about about the actual set that they were um, that whole scene played in uh, Robert Ford's office, which was fucking one of the dopest sets I've ever seen. Actually, I believe you even get to see the piano player in the flashback of uh, like the story about Arnold. But I was just thinking about it. That is a host that shot Dolores because he was on the table being operated on. He was the one with the half skeleton. Um, but Wait, which His guy? office. The guy that shot Dolores. Mm. Yeah. The same so. beard, he did same look, everything. He did look similar. He did look yeah. similar, yeah. That looked like the one guy that they first tried messing with Dolores. Yeah, during. yeah, him. That's, oh, uh, no, and no, they, the guy that was on the table, he's saying. Yeah, the guy that was on the table with the black hair, the black beard. Yeah, that he looked at. Remember yeah. the half guy? Yeah, in the yeah. flashback. But uh, his anyway. office, though, is amazing. You get to see, like, the progression of the skeleton structures. You get to see... The progression of the facial features on like a big wall, just a huge wall uh, behind his desk. You get to see like every different type of face they started off with. And it's just the intricate details in the background. You get to see the skeletal system, everything. Yeah, it was it was it really was. um, And the flashbacks were so fucking cool. Like just seeing for this is the first time we actually get to see like kind of a little bit of the origins of it and yeah, like, like the latex being like on the metal skeleton not like yeah, a then putting the, skeleton then putting the skin over the exoskeleton yeah. or the endoskeleton even when they were trying to dance when they had the, when they were partnering them up to dance yeah, it was still the ba- very yeah it was an robotic. old town like it looked like a cheesy like home depot yeah. set right yeah 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 does Dolores have a metal skeleton well, Maybe. wouldn't they all have metal skeletons? No, because no, the well, new ones the have the synthetic one. skeleton. Oh, they have that t- with the muscle and everything. Yeah. And she does is she the have oldest a, in like, the park. Oh, balls. Yeah. That could does be she a have piece. a metal skeleton or did they redo that? That could be why when the, the whole sh- being shot thing. Maybe she's maybe never that supposed has to be shot. To do with, or maybe, yeah, maybe something to that. I mean, I guess we'll find out with that. There's, you know, we'll go crazy thinking about what, what yeah. it could be. This show will just, like make you go crazy. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. What else we got? What else we got uh, going on in the show? The Rock. Oh, yeah, okay. That consciousness. So, so, so we're okay. So we're at the at, at we're we're following Elsie and Stubbs. Okay. And uh, again, Stubbs is the Hemworths, and Elsie's that is the little chick that helps Bernard. Yeah. Um, so they're out finding trying to find a stray yes. host. But I just want to bring up a cool point. That when that host went stray, he was the only one in this group of um, guys that were camping out that was that was authorized in in his code to handle the axe. So he yeah, leaves, yeah. and all the other hosts got caught in a loop, a narrative yeah. loop, which was so cool. I was like, oh my god, that's, that's really so cool. great. It's always um, cool when they pause them, right? I yeah. love when they pause them. Yeah, because I'm always like, I want to see yeah. this guy move. Is he gonna move? And yeah. they don't move at all. They're good. Uh, so yeah. he, so they find him in inside like a crevasse. And uh, Stubbs um, rappels down there, and I guess they just needed his head, so he takes out this little saw. To, he puts them in. He she puts him in sleep. Yeah, and she's sawing at his neck, and the dude wakes up. Yeah. And we're all like, yeah, she's no, like, no, no, uh, stop. Yeah. So he climbs. So he climbs up the rope, gets out, takes this huge rock, and obviously we thought she was gonna get she her head crushed in, and that. he smashes while he's got the blade in his neck still, smashes yeah. his own head. And, that was um, awesome. Yeah, that's I mean, that's that that conscious. He has that voice. So wait, and explain, Mike. Explain what 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 you're right, talking well, about. We saw we, didn't talk we about saw it in we saw in the flashback of Arnold of the girl with all the claw marks on her head some and of, everything. Some of the early hosts through yeah. Arnold's so, tinkering, they must have had that voice. They thought in they, their they head. were gods. Yeah, this voice yes. of gods, and some so, were being. Directed by the voice of God, right? Exactly. So apparently, that one that we see in the flashback was trying to claw at the at the voice or whatever, 
and we saw her wigging out on that, you know, on that table there when she was sitting down or whatever. And then obviously for him to smash his own head, he has something drove him. That voice drove him to run. That yeah. voice drove him to take off to stray. Yeah. Yeah. He just reminded and me of something. He destroyed his. He destroyed his brain. Yeah. You know, he got killed himself. That wasn't Bernard's voice. Dolores heard. That was Arnold's. Oh, good point. I thought it was Bernard, but yeah, good point. Okay, so Jesse, explain what you're talking about. That's All right. true. Uh, uh, so when Dolores is in the barn and Rebus, played by Stephen Ong, has her cornered, he's going to rape her or whatever, uh, she has his gun. She took it off of him after he threw it down on the hay like uh, Ed Harris did, and she has it pointed at him. Can't pull the trigger, but then a voice says, shoot him or kill him or something kill like him. that. Yeah, yeah, kill him. I and it's, kill him. it's a real... Weird voice because it's like echoed through her skull or whatever, yeah. and we all thought it was Bernard at first. Now it makes but, sense. Yeah. She would have been there. She was the first one. Exactly. So she would have had that that memory of him and his his voice sounding. But yeah, didn't she oh. grab the gun though from him? She, she grabbed s- the gun at she, first. As like, as that's yeah. how she fell, and because he was like, "Oh, you're a slippery little thing," you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he didn't throw it down, right? He, no, no, no. She, she grabbed, grabbed no, no, it she grabbed at, it at some point as she was down. being dragged away. Oh, uh, yeah. no. I thought you said that he threw it down. No, he yeah. threw yeah, her down. He, she th- he threw her down, yeah. Yeah. No, that was, that's, yeah. So there we go. We're getting on to something. That's a good, yeah. a good Okay, catch. so Arnold, so this Arnold character, I I, I, I want to find out how we, how he died. Obviously, something. Coming back from the dead. Something. Um, and uh, the, the, listen, these. These characters are getting so deep. Even the human characters, the host characters. Two points I want to bring up. In the in Westworld, we're basically and there's oh the, um uh, let's mention that there's a new host following Teddy around. So Teddy's involved in this new host's uh, story. Um, new yeah. Teddy, oh, totally. Can we talk about Teddy? James Marson. We we he gets a backstory. He's sitting there talking to Ford, and he's like, "You ever wonder why you're so mysterious? Because we never gave you a backstory." He goes, "You want a backstory? Mm-hmm. Here's a backstory." And it's this really cool backstory that he was in the army. Um, he's in the military, and his his um, commanding Sorry. officer yeah. heard crazy. the voice of God, went nuts, and like decimated a town, and he had to fend. O- you know, so that's what they're uh-huh. doing up in the hills is looking yeah. for this guy Wyatt. So he so Teddy got a new backstory, which is cool. Um, but we're following the you know most of the episode, we're following this group of hosts doing their thing, just going through their narrative, and I'm like, it's just so cool. Like it's like a we're we're, we're us as voyeurs as watching yeah. watching yeah watching a cinematic video game yeah like watching these NPCs do their thing. It was so cool. Yeah. And then the other point I wanted to bring up is in the real world, every time we see them talking to a host when it goes in and they're diagnosing a host or whatever always in the background are other things other hosts sorry other hosts being talked to getting worked on yeah. but it's always in these glass boxes and and obviously that's because they want to be able to see everything that's happening like a trust issue yeah either well see at first i didn't think a trust I, at first i said in, in case the hosts go crazy they can yeah. see what's going on and hopefully help probably a little bit of both yeah, yeah right yeah the, yeah or tr- or the you know the, the 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 trust issue you know so we get to see um ted or not teddy william coming willie. into his character there big willie style yeah he is uh he's <laughs> hesitant to shoot the guy that's uh kidnapping clementine clementine and <laughs> i always think of uh the walking dead video game yeah. with her yeah, name no, yeah, with Clem, yeah. clementine uh, in the walking dead how cool would that fucking be I yeah know. uh but this guy's kidnapping her after he's been thrown in jail and then busts out or whatever or is being thrown in jail. William's like hesitant, has his gun out, won't shoot. So he throws her down. A lot of throwing of women down this episode. Yeah, seriously. Um, and when he throws her down, William just pulls out the gun and shoots him straight through the chest, like in this area here. Did you see and how? Really awesome. Yeah, did you and did you see how like they set it up for hosts to do something about it? For oh, damn it, yeah. players, they like it was like this. It was like a quick time event almost where they were like, "Okay, he shot a bunch of people. Yeah. Let's it's so are much you gonna like do something, game. you know?" Yeah, and yeah. Um, I just liked uh, I liked how um, he was like, "Is anybody when 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 the bandit took her and he's walking and he's got her and he's like, does anybody?" Yeah. Anybody else wanna wanna test me or something? Because yeah, if you wanna yeah, look yeah. at my you wanna look at my backstory or whatever he said. Well, not backstory, but he said yeah, my you resume. You wanna look at my backstory? Is that uh, what he said? I think so. Meaning all the people he just something? killed on the ground. Like I thought that was fucking awesome. You know, uh, some great fucking dialogue, man. 
Yeah, no, it's really cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I think in this episode, we got to see a lot more narrative loops, like that guy that looks like a Brolin, um, throw that yeah. particular band that we're talking about, arrest him, give him to yeah. another guy, then, then him throw that guy out the window. Like, it's just, we're getting to, and w- through the eyes of William, how he's out in this world watching all this, and he's like, this is so yeah, they real. Put, and... They put you in scenarios. They put you in these, in so these scenarios. Cool. It's so and cool. he even so... calls out his friend for just, like, staying in the brothel. Yeah, he's like, he's yeah. like, oh, I want to go do this. So, like you said, just he gets a taste yeah. of it, and yeah. he's like, I want to go. And he's looking at all the wanted posters. He's like, I want to go get this guy. And he's like, oh, this mm-hmm. is stupid. This is dumb. He goes, well, why? But what are you doing? You're doing nothing here but having sex and drinking. And he's yeah. like, yeah, I'm waiting for the big stuff. He's like, no, I want to go do this. Uh, see you later. And we found out at the end there they spend forty freaking grand 40 to go to this grand, park uh, a day. A day. Yeah. To be in this park, so it was only a thousand dollars a day in the in the original movie. So. Yep. Inflation. Inflation. Yeah, I bet you they worked it out like that. Yeah, um, guys. Um, I mean, just again, deep deep character stuff, and it and it's ramping up. And I knew it. I knew they were going to ramp this up because it's only like yeah. ten episodes, I think, this season. So they got to get us somewhere. And did um, we did we get an official? Uh, do we know the official count? If you look ten. on IMDb, all everyone that's in it, it says it. Says it. it says ten. ten. It says ten episodes. Ten yeah. episodes. Yeah. So, um, I mean, it's just seven more to go. But yeah. it's ramping up, and I'm 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 just really excited for it because it's just a, it's an amazing, um, it's just an amazing concept. Um, but a similar concept, and I was telling these guys during their live reaction. Um, if you want to see something, what it would be like, like this type of Android stuff in the real world, go check out a show called Humans. You can check it out on Sci-Fi on the Sci-Fi Channel. It's called Humans. There's a one they've done a one season already, and they're going to be uh, season two should be, you know, hopefully it's definitely on its way. It got it got approved for another season, um, but it's same type of thing. It's uh, androids that interact with humans, and they and you you know you can have sex with them. They make your yeah, they make your breakfast. They drive you around. They could. They, they well, I guess how the first thing we go to every time. Because that's what it well, is. That's what that, that'll listen, that'll be the biggest industry. That is what it know, is. Let's it let's, let's you know look, call a fucking spade. Remember, remember spade, right? AI? Remember huh? AI? Yeah. Oh yeah. Remember Jude Law? He was a sex bot. And that was kind of similar with with what Bernard may want to do. Remember? Remember in the in AI, the family, the engineer that was making these robots made the first child to. Number one, it was the first child because children right. weren't supposed to be made uh, robotic and the love emotion yeah. and that caring mm-hmm. emotion. Yeah, that was good. So I should watch. I have that on DVD. AI, I AI it. was very cool. It was a little I like that weird, movie. but it was cool. It didn't didn't do great, but I enjoyed it. I, I definitely yeah, enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it too. It was a good right. time when it came out. Um, it's very similar in those kind of Android kind of... Yeah, so guys, you want to see more of that stuff? Go watch Rip the Valley. movie AI, Stephen Spielberg's AI, and go check out Humans on the Sci-Fi Channel. Uh, yeah. Anything else, guys? I mean... Uh, not yeah. regarding this show, but I have a few post roll things. Do it. All right. So we've recently had our Walking Dead Q and A come out, the pre Q and A for season seven. Uh, go check that out. It has timestamps in the description. You can go to whatever question you want yeah, to go to. It's a bit of a it's long a... video, but we have timestamps for every question. <laughs> yeah. You could just skip around if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this coming weekend, which is the weekend of the twenty third, we have the Walking Dead finally coming back. Expect yes. a video of that Woo-hoo! on. Tuesday next so week. we'll get it out next Tuesday um, and we'll continue doing Westworld we may or may not be doing live reactions on Westworld anymore yeah. that's the biggest thing there know uh, in the comments how you feel about that yeah. yeah we have time constraints and stuff like that <laughs> and hopefully you'll understand we yeah. will definitely do a live we're do, reaction. We're doing live reaction Walking for the, the finale. Dead, yeah, yeah. Um, but we definitely. might hold off on Westworld for a little while until yeah. we could figure out the whole, uh, you know, how, how our scheduling is going to work out. It's uh, it's it's a lot. It's a lot of it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. To, if you guys don't know, it's a lot of work to put these videos together. They're fun and they're and we love doing them. But it takes a bit of work. This it's you know it's it's a full time gig sometimes. So I mean, like for example, I came home yesterday from work. Um, and my comics, you know, to get, I, I did, I edited after work. I did eight hours of work. I came home and I worked another eight hours on this stuff. <laughs> yeah. I, and I got two videos out, you know, well, one podcast audio and then, and then the video. You get those videos out, boy. You know, and I love it. Don't get me wrong. I'm saying yeah. I fucking love it. It's, this is what I do, but it's, it's a lot of work guys. So, but we, and we, but we'll we definitely, the, we'll and that's why it means a can. lot. Yeah. We'll what? do the best we can. Yeah, we do the best we can. And, and that's why we appreciate you guys watching this stuff so much. I mean, otherwise, why the hell are we doing it? You know? Yeah, and the support has just been amazing, and we will continue making this content for as long as we can. 
Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So, guys, go uh, go check us out. Look at our things down there, the little things down in the corner over there. Uh, you can check us out at Third Person Pod on um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and now Snapchat. So go check, go go get us on Snapchat. Uh, we're gonna try and post a lot of like you know behind the scene little stuff. I did one when we did our live reaction video and stuff. Uh, Snapchat's weird though. We're still freaking it out. I'm um, also put the video up on Instagram. But go check us out on those things. We'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for all the comments. Um, I, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let's. Why don't we give out a shout out to our friend Nick? Who um who loves Mike's hair? We're gonna oh, talk. Yeah. Just I just want to give a shout out. He's he watches all our videos, and I just wanted to give a shout out. So Nick, uh, good on you, man. Thanks for thanks for hanging out and uh, being our, our one of our constant fans is pretty good. And um yeah, so that's that's all I got. Yay, Nick. Yay, Nick. All right. So is that <laughs> it? I think we're good. That's a show. I think we're good. That's a show, all guys. Right. Thank you so much again, guys, and uh, we'll see you uh, on uh, we'll see you on the Walking Dead. Yep. <laughs> So peace out. Bye.